Well, Jim, two preseason games left for the London Knights. They've had 13 days since their last preseason game with Sarnia, and you might think, well, what is there to do for 13 days? This coaching staff, ooh, would they like a 13-day run? Absolutely, and I'll guarantee you, these guys that's going to play tonight can't wait to get on the ice and get this done because they're sick of practice, I'm sure. The coaches love this. They can work on these guys. When you see the success of the London Knights over the years, you can point directly towards what has happened in these 13 days. No coaching staff is as hardworking or creative, I don't think, and the results show it of working and grinding and making these players, getting them to a level that they can really improve. Now, one of the things that the Knights look for in players, hockey sense. They really will value that almost ahead of anything else. And this is where it, in the last 13 days is where that, if you teach a smart player, a lot of, uh, and Dale Hunter and Dylan and, and Rick Stebbin, they've got a lot to teach them. Put a, a guy with hockey sense on the ice with these guys and you see the results in terms of points. But this is the turning point. Now it's, uh, uh, we're down to the last week of the exhibition. The real uh, material comes next week, and the Windsor Spitfires are coming in next Friday night, loaded for bear off a Memorial Cup, and uh, it, the feeling is in the air, and it's great. And I, I think the young players will show well uh, in the na last two preseason games to get ready for the uh, regular season. If you are at the game, you'll see him. If you're not, you can hear about him. Alec Regula has signed with the London Knights, and he's someone who is six foot four. He's a defenseman, and Jim, it's almost like he has a professional mentality, but you can look. You won't find his dad as a former player, but you will find him in the professional ranks. Yeah, he's a dentist by trade and has been uh, working a lot with the Detroit sports teams the, over the years, the Red Wings, the Lions. And, you know, what happens when collisions occur in, in, in sports, the dental work sometimes gives in. So he's been quite busy. And uh, there was a day when he had to actually work on former uh, Knights general manager Basil McRae uh, at the, when he played. And so uh, they got to know each other a little bit. The thing about Ragula is funny because... I asked Rob Simpson this, when did six foot four skill guys uh, come in? And now here's a guy who is uh, a skill player, six foot four, and moves the puck well. That's what hockey has become. Uh, your, you, your big guys now have just as much skill as anyone else, and that's what you have in Alex Regula. I think you're going to watch him uh, really take off. Um, it, it's going to take a couple of months to get used to the league, get used to the speed, but this the guy is the thing that we talked about earlier, hockey sense. And uh, really, I mean, he was headed to uh, U.S. College, decided at the last minute to say uh, no. He had one more year before he went to college. He was going to go back to Chicago. Said, no, I want to play in the National Hockey League. And that's the right decision to make. You, you really, it's not maybe about the Knights in terms of uh, the long term, but if you want to be in the National Hockey League, hey, Alec, this is the place to be. You're absolutely right. The Erie Otters are the defending Ontario Hockey League champions. They went four straight seasons with 50 wins. Now they come in and admittedly, Jim, they're going to be a little bit younger this year. Oh yeah, that's the circle of life and uh, they've had a great run. Four straight 50 win seasons and um, uh, they won an OHL championship in, a, in the toughest division, I think, over the last decade that you can imagine. Uh, they've seen Connor McDavid come and go. And now it's probably time uh, to maybe retool because uh, they did give up a lot of draft picks last year to bring in uh, some uh, players from the Eastern Conference. And uh, they, it ended up paying off. I mean, they have a banner to raise in Erie. But uh, this year, uh, I think they have accepted the fact that, yeah, they have two or three, four marquee players. And I think uh, you'll see how they get out of the gate. And then once that happens, you'll see them scan the uh, landscape and say, maybe we might want to recoup some of those draft picks and uh, some of the bigger names on Erie that you know, Radish, uh, Lodnia, they may be available. Well, we'll see what happens. That's a little ways away as we now head into the final two preseason games for the Knights. Tonight at Budweiser Gardens, tomorrow in Kamoka at 7 o'clock. If you can't be there, you can hear the broadcast at am980.ca or on the Radio Player Canada app.